Let's crimp some F-type coax connectors using this crimper tool made by Klein. I'll also be using Klein's F-type connectors that support both RG6 and RG6 quad cable. Note that the cable I'm using is quad cable. I'm going to take my coax cutters and square off the end of the cable. It helps to straighten the cable before cutting it. After cutting, you want to squeeze the cable back to the original round shape since cutting it turns into a bit of an oval. Now I'll use this cable stripping tool to put the necessary cuts at the end of the cable. You want to make sure that the 6 is at the top of the black cutting block. This indicates that we are using RG6 cable. The cable lines up with this little black stopper on the other side. Note that it's fine to cut off a little bit extra and just trim the center conductor at the end. The stripper just clamps onto the cable and you can gently spin it around a few times to make two separate cuts. The first cut removes everything down to the center conductor. The second cut is farther back and only slices the jacket, leaving the shielding and dielectric intact. Since I'm using quad cable, there are four layers of shielding. The first layer is a metal braid, under that is foil, and another layer of metal braid, and then finally a layer of foil. We need to fold back all the strands of metal braid and remove the top layer of foil, leaving only the last layer of foil in place. The stripper tool has this sort of velcro part that you can use as a comb to gently fold back the strands of metal braid. Then I'll use an X-Acto knife to carefully cut and peel the foil. Now we can fold back this second layer of metal braid and take care not to disturb the final layer of foil that wraps the dielectric. It's important to keep all these little strands of braid away from the center conductor. When putting the connector on, you need to pass the center conductor through the hole and then press the connector down firmly on top of the braid that's folded back on the cable. Looking at the end of the connector, you should see the white dielectric pushed up against the hole that the center conductor protrudes from. The center conductor should not be touching any part of the connector housing. Now we can use the crimp tool to permanently crimp the connector to the cable. There's a hole in the tool that the center conductor slides in to keep it protected while you squeeze firmly down on the tool's handle. Now I'll give the center conductor a trim so that it doesn't stick out too far. You want to have a little sticking up past the end of the connector. Alright, that's about it. Now you're ready to crimp coax like a pro. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.